Good afternoon, everybody. And yet, Eshe, Shalilo Yanisha, Bilagana Nishlin, Anastasia Tachini, Bashachi, Bilagana Dashache, the Trabaha Dashanale, the Conti of the Nasha, the Washington Dishigan. My name is Shelly Lowe, I'm Navajo, I am originally from Ganado, Arizona, and I am chair of the National Endowment for Humanities. And I want to say welcome, and especially a warm welcome to all of our arts and humanities medalists. I want to first thank President Biden and Dr. Jill Biden for hosting this event, and I want to say Happy Arts and Humanities Month. This is an opportune time to be celebrating each and every one of you and all of your accomplishments. I want to acknowledge Chair Jackson, my colleague, who we've, worked, we've been working so hard to ensure that you have each been, had the opportunity to come here today and be honored. I want to thank the NEH Council, the NEH Council members who are here, members of the President's Committee on Arts and Humanities, and all the NEH and NEA staff who have joined us today. And again, congratulations to all of our medalists. One of our new medalists in the humanities is Joy Harjo of the Muscogee Creek Nation. And in her poem, Eagle Poem, Joy pictures a bird sewing through the sky, a symbol of the circle of motion, our lives encompass. And the poem is a reminder to each and every one of us about the vastness of our individual experiences, how within this circle of motion that encompass us, there is still so much more to hear there is still so much more to see. And that's where poets and historians, philanthropists and filmmakers, songwriters and artists, that's where each and every one of you comes in. You each gives us and enjoys words, moments, steadily growing, and in languages that aren't always sound, but other circles of motion. We may often think that it's never been easier to despair, to bury our heads in the sand and not see the eagles circling in motion, their wings catching the light. But to despair is not our task in the humanities, and it is not our task in the arts. We are here to explore the past and to embark on a new future, to see the risks that lie ahead and to venture on anyway. Now more than ever, we need moments that allow us to provide the utmost care and kindness in all things, to show us the way, to lift us up, to boldly go where no man or woman <laughs> has gone before. <laughs> or as President Bartlett put it, to never stop asking, what's next? <laughs> we need the humanities and the arts. We need playwrights and scholars. We need you to remind us that the world is expansive and beautiful, to remind us that we're not alone, as long as there are stories to tell and songs to sing, as long as there are circles of motion moving us all forward. Congratulations. It is now my distinct honor to introduce a man who ensured that when I came into my position, there were others who looked like me. Other Native voices, other Native individuals who were leading us and who were making the administration do what we needed to do, who really brought first He gave us all a space, he gave us all a place, he gave us all the opportunity to have a voice. May I again introduce and bring forward President Joseph R. Biden. <laughs> 